you might start with very little confidence. And that's definitely where the, the, a coach can help build your confidence up because um, it's the belief that I might have in you that you don't have in you that's going to make all the difference for you to get started. Think about that. It's the belief that I have in you that motivates you to go and do more than what you would do without my input, without my influence. How old are you going to be before you start to experience life like you want it? I want to tell you right now, whether you like it or not, there is a better way to do business. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Business for Builders podcast. Welcome to you if you're in YouTube land. Uh, my name's Max. I'm your host. I'm the CEO at Smith & Sons uh, here in Canada, and uh, it's great to have you with us. Uh, as usual, like and subscribe, all that kind of good stuff, and uh, uh, feel free to leave some comments in uh, the comment section below, and I will uh, I will return serve and uh, help you out where I can. Also, feel free to uh, hit me up on email, max at businessforbuilders.ca, uh, and uh, hit me up with a question there. Keep it uh, keep it to maybe one question per email or thereabouts, and I will do my darndest to get back to you in uh, in really quick time. Don't forget our uh, business for builders. VIP Facebook group, get across there if you're a good sort. I'll let you in, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can uh, build a good community of general contractors and subcontractors if you like, and uh, just chat about you know some of the stuff that's going on in and around the building industry, and hopefully, get some advice from uh, our peer group there uh, that can sort of help you uh, move forward in your challenge in building a business. Right. Speaking of challenges in building a business, I am uh, I'm pretty hot on something at the moment. Uh, it's almost like this episode. Uh, what number was it? Episode what? One forty what? One forty two. Uh, it's a little bit of a. This is this is going to be a pretty radical uh, session because um, what I'm about to um, unload on you guys and gals is uh, is a little bit of an announcement, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Pretty pumped because it's something that we've that I've been sitting on for the longest time, and uh, and so what uh, what we're going to do is is just chat really quickly about you know what I. I'm going to now make an offer and just chat with you guys about, and maybe there'd be no interest, but maybe there'd be a little bit. Um, but really what I want to let you guys, let my audience know is that um, everything that we, we do in the franchise world as it relates to leading and growing general contractors, I am now going to offer to our general, our global uh, general contracting and subcontracting, but remember we're mostly builders, community. So we've just given our uh, sale, our training uh, and coaching system within the franchise uh, uh, group uh, an overhaul. And what we are going to do now is we're going to offer that to the greater community globally and uh, to get to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Now, there's certainly not a lot of positions, um, you know, as we grow this or, or we launch this new initiative. Um, there's only, there's very limited seats, to be honest. So, um, you know, I really want you to, if you've, if you've got some understanding that you've got some gaps and some deficiencies in your business, and you think you can benefit from working with with a business coach, someone like myself, then I would love to try and help you. Obviously, this is going, there is going to be a fee for service, um, but I would love to think that I can add massive value to your building company and your situation here, and I'm really looking forward to doing that. So um, just straight out of the get-go, if you if you want to uh, just give me an expression of interest, max at businessforbuilders.ca. And uh, we'll we'll get started on the email. Like I said, it's first come first serve because I really have limited seats at the table. Um, you know, to be able to serve somebody at the highest level, um, you know, as well as you know, uh, look after my existing franchise operators. Um, but we're really pumped about being able to roll this out, and so we we can just we can just converse more on email. So ironically, what I'm going to do to support that little bit of a pitch is to uh, you know talk about. What are some of the basics that you can expect from a business coach just to give you some clarity and some understanding and to help you sort of ascertain whether or not there's there's some benefit there with even reaching out uh, to yours truly and uh, and just discussing you know what what's uh, what's up with business coaching. So pretty pumped you know because we've we've worked on a new system and a new coaching methodology uh, within within uh, Smithies that we're going to roll out here in Canada. And uh, we're certainly going to go and uh, we're going to go and chat with uh, our audience because there's I've just got dozens and dozens and dozens of emails that really uh, you know show great interest in Hey Max, can you coach me? It's just flat out that simple. And so um, you know we're gonna we're gonna get into some nitty gritty. But um, look, what what can you expect from a business coach? Now put it out there. You're like, right, Max, what do I get? 
You know, it's it's very. It reminds me a lot when I'm talking to guys and gals about the the new service that I'm now offering to a global community. Um, it reminds me a little bit of how when we're dealing with retail, uh, you know, it's they're always about you know what do I get, what do I get, and of course that's pretty natural. So I'm going to run through five points in really quick time here. I know you're busy, know you got to go, um, and I really appreciate you being here. But I'm going to try and tickle your ears with it with a little bit of information as it relates to what you can expect from someone like myself as a business coach. Now, odds on is I would recommend that. If you can afford it to go and get a business coach, period. I just think that, and for reasons I'm about to outline, uh, I think too many of us, including myself back in the early days, um, just tried to go it alone and, and there was some chip on their shoulder and there was something they thought they could you know, get, get done. Um, and they, what they didn't know is I didn't know what I didn't know. And it's, it's just from falling over and then you do it for enough years, like a decade, and you look over your shoulder and you're like, geez, it would have been nice to have somebody tell me what to avoid, what to do, what not to do. And so, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're a CEO, you kind of need a coach. You need someone that's going to tell you, or if you've got access to someone that can help you, then you would expect that person to probably give you some insight. That's the upside because they can save you a lot of pain. I've got six kids and I know that I'm talking to those guys about, hey, good decision equals good outcomes, bad decisions, bad outcomes. And so when they're going through stuff, I fully expect them to fall on their knees and, and you know take a bit of skin off. But at the end of the day, if I can give them a little bit of context on how to do something in advance, there's going to be a lot of their learning curve will be a, a little more pleasant uh, and will be in a shorter amount of time. And I think that's my that's that's what I have an obligation to do for my kids. That's what I would call being a, a, a reasonably good dad uh, is to really just try and not do it for them, but also but 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 try and help them and assist them and support them in some capacity. And I think that's really what my heart is, at, you know, putting it out there as a business coach because uh, too often we just try and blaze trails and there's people that are very close to us that could actually help us, but they don't speak into our lives and they don't give us the support and they don't give us the insight and they don't give us the hand up maybe that we need. Uh, and, and sometimes it's because we don't put our hand up and we don't ask for help. So um, let's get through these really quick. <laughs> I think my kids sent me a meme too. They said, um, they, they, uh, I don't know, we'll, maybe we'll post that meme, the one where you said, you know, 40 minutes into the podcast, we go, right, let's get started. Um, and that's what I feel like today. So anyway, well, I don't think we've, we're, we're seven minutes in, so eight minutes in. Okay, so what to expect from a business coach. So this is going to be really broad, really quick. I want you to email me if you've got any interest in uh, participating, you know, in the launch of uh, the coaching program that is outside of Smith & Sons, that's outside of Business for Builders. It's something that's completely separate. Um, and, and it's really a great system that that, uh, that has been developed and that we're going to uh, we're going to utilize going forward. Okay, first thing you can expect from a uh, now I don't know that every business coach has is a gangster. You know, I don't know that every big business coach that's out there. Um, I, I think there's some pretty average business coaches. Um, to be honest, I only know a few, and the ones that I do know are actually pretty cool. Um, and so this is why I'm sort of, you know, getting amongst it because I'm already coaching general contractors and I'm thinking, well, okay, there's got to be some opportunity there and I might be able to help some people. Um, but not all business coaches, I don't believe, would come to the table with a level of conviction, a level of passion, a level of experience even. And I know that a lot of the business coaches I know are very much in the construction industry um, and they're good because they, they they double down on that niche, you know, on that niche that they really focus in on helping general contractors. So, you know, really I am, am going to do very similar to that. I'm going to focus on the, the contracting world. So, um, yeah, so this is what I'm going to try and bring to the table. So first point, enhanced clarity and vision. And so, you know, there's nothing worse, you know, than uh, what can I use as a bit of an example? But, you know, you, you, I used to have old pickup trucks and they had really sketchy H4 bulbs and the headlights were pretty shitty. And, and it was nothing worse than when you'd flick on the high beam and you go, wow, that didn't make much difference. And so, you know, to have the, the kind of enhanced clarity and vision, it's like going from an H4 uh, bulb up to it an LED and all of a sudden the road lights up and all of a sudden you can see properly and so I think a lot of the time you know for me personally what I wanted to do, what I want to do is to be able to um, bring uh, a clarity bring uh, your ability to be able to see what you're doing in your business and what is the potential for your business to be able to sort of go and set goals that you're really satisfied that you think hey I've got a really good chance of achieving this and so, you know, for a leader, you know, for a leader, it's very hard. If you call yourself a leader, it's pretty hard to lead somebody somewhere where you haven't been. 
And so I feel like as a 50-year-old, been in the construction game for nearly 34 years or actually 34 years last month, you know, it's, 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 it's time for me to be able to um, maybe put something out there that's different, go into a, you know, a, a different angle and really help a greater community that's not just inside of Smith & Sons. I think I've just got too much to give to limit it, um, you know, to one, one company. So um, I believe that based on wh what I've done in my life, I can, any of the new guys coming through, uh, I can I can definitely add some clarity and some vision to your, you know, if you're starting out or if you've been in it and you're a little bit jaded for 15 years, you're like, time out. I need another set of eyeballs on my business to help me get this thing going again because it, it's just, it, it just doesn't seem to be changing. And so that's a, a big part of the, the advantage of having a business coach because someone like me will come and look at either one of my general contractors' business or your business and there's no emotion there. I'm not tied to that, you know? And so what I can do is really objectively look at the, the components, look at the profit and loss, look at how you're doing your marketing, look at your sales processes, look what's not, you know, documented as far as, you know, your accountability procedures. Like look at all of that and be able to go, hey, we've got no structure here. Or hey, your 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 marketing message is too much right hook. There's no value add. You've got to do some more content marketing. Things like that. And all of a sudden, I'll tell you what you'll get is, and I've had this, it's like you'll have this aha moment. It's like I never thought about it that way. And that's the power of where you've got another set of eyeballs coming in. And that's and then that's a positive. Okay, point number two. So first one was enhanced clarity and, and vision. Second one is expert guidance and experience. And I guess that's what it comes down to. Uh, I, you know, I know Gary Vee was, was chatting on, a, on, a, on a, one of his podcasts recently about 19-year-old life coaches. It's, he reckons it's hilarious, and I probably concur. Um, and so what we're talking about is experts, so having been in and around the building industry, have, having built a multi-million dollar uh, franchise group here in, in Canada from, the, from, from ground zero, um, and, and, and having experience in the building game, those components have now built into a situation whereby if I was to come on a line like I'm doing and offer services as a business coach, I think I can be that expert guidance and experience. And so that's what you need in your business coach if you're looking for one. Okay, point number three, personalized support and accountability. Um, this really resonates with me because you know it's it's essentially what, or it's, it's the quintessential uh, reason a coach is there is for, for personalized support, but also accountability. So it's like, hey, what can I do to help you get to the next level? What can I help you to, to do to develop? Uh, and then, of course, if you, you know, if, if we go, okay, I want to go here, and I go, right, these are the steps to get there. Um, the, the accountability is, is where we come in alongside and go, okay, did you do the work that you needed to do this week? I know for me um, that I meet with my business coach uh, once a week minimum. And so if it's good enough for me, uh, I would suggest that there's probably, it's highly likely that it should be good enough for you as well. So, um, you know, I need, I need to not just, uh, if I don't have any of that accountability in, and I don't, and I'm not able to give an account as to my activities for last week, then what I'm doing is I'm starting to run off course. And so it's that other person who can Give me the unemotional, uh, objective view on what it is my actions act. Because what happens is, where builders are classics to this, they'll they'll say a, they'll talk a big game, and then their actions will map off the track, and they're wondering why they're failing. They're wondering why their business is in a nosedive. They're wondering why they can't keep good people. They're wondering why um, that they're not making profits on their jobs. They're wondering why subcontractors don't want to work for them. And, and that is that is really where you lack self-awareness. So you need to come in and say, if you say, yep, I'm going to be accountable, Max. Well, be bloody accountable. Put yourself out there and go, I feel like if I put this out to Max, I'm going to be exposed. Yep, that's the idea. Because if I can expose your weakness, then what that's going to do is that that's actually going to make you stronger. But we don't want to go and throw down and go, actually, I, in this area, I feel really weak. In this area, this is not my favorite position. This is not my favorite place to be. I don't like doing sales or I don't like doing estimating. See, what you want to do is you want to make sure that every aspect of, of your race car is in tip-top condition. There's no point in having a, you know, a 750 horsepower, uh, you know, Coyote V8 up the front when you've got no suspension components to carry it or your tires suck and there's there's canvas and there's steel hanging out of your tire. Like you've got to have all of the components within your business, your race car, uh, all 
perfectly uh, in alignment and also really organized and nice, neat and tidy and nice and new uh, and all accounted for. And so uh, that's a big deal. So you get and that personalized support because this is what I've talked about on the show before is that, you know, I can talk really macro to certain subject matter, but because we're all different types of human beings, I can't be specific. So I can't give you that personalized, customized support because what I say to to what I say down the camera might really resonate with one person, but the other person just throws up in their mouth or it intimidates them or it scares them or they just don't feel they've got the, the bandwidth or the capacity or the capability to actually execute at that level. Uh, a classic is my old man was really hard. Now, I've got a fairly aggressive, you know, pretty out there kind of personality. I, I don't get beat up too easy, but my next brother down, he did. He was a little bit softer and he took it a lot more personal than I did. And so this is why when I've had six kids, I've got to look at those personalities and go, right, how does that, how does that kid react? Uh, that kid reacts differently. I don't need to be as hard on that kid. He or she gets it. And so this is why the customized coaching process or the personalized approach to your support mechanism uh, is so important. And that's why you can't just go and Google it and it resonate with you. It's a little bit hit and miss and we don't want it. We, you know, your business, you don't want your business to be hit and miss. So this is why we've got to really make sure that we uh, we tune up our uh, our coaching program and make sure it is personalized and there is accountability measures in place. All right, point number four, uh, a business. Uh, what you can expect from a business coach. You should expect that uh, there'll be some skill development and growth within that program. So understand this, you, you don't go to the gym and you, you don't you know, just curl the bar, you know, you put some weight on because we know that weight or resistance builds muscle mass. So in the growing process, yet we all want to grow, yet we all, all want to be, you know, uh, assassins as it relates to general contracting. But the problem is that we, we don't like the pain and we've all heard the analogy, no pain, no gain. So we, we really got to reconcile the fact that if we want, you know, if we, if we, we desire to have our skills increase or developed and we do want to increase our growth and our capacity, then it's it's through those painful moments in the gym, let's call it, whereby your capacity will be enlarged, whereby your ability to lift more weight uh, will be obvious, where your business will start to look more attractive on the profit and loss, where um, you know you'll be able to sort of have enough operational capital to be able to maybe buy that you know that new vehicle or to be able to go on a holiday where the company's paying you a dividend, all that kind of good stuff. And so we all want that, but we've got to actually be disciplined in our approach and and really, you know, if you want to launch a new business or you want to, you know, relaunch your business, then you've got to have a very clinical scientific uh, attitude towards that methodology because it's we are so construction and we, you know, we get our, you know, hammers out and our, our skill saws and we just cut and shut and, and do the whole framing thing or what have you. But when it comes to business, it's in a different world. It's in a di different stratosphere. Um, and that's something that takes a little while for to get our heads around. So um, we, we all crave the, you know, we want to improve our skills and we want to grow our business, but we've got to understand that there is a time period. And this is the other thing too, patience to go with that development and that growth. You've got to have some patience because uh, if we could all change overnight, the world would actually be a better place. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's just something that is an organic process and it happens over time. So skill development, you should be expecting to see something happening, you know, three to six months in and you start to have those aha moments where your skills are improving and then growth personally um, and as a leader, as well as, you know, looking at your business and, you know, maybe you're bringing on some team, maybe you're taking on bigger jobs. I was talking to one of my guys yesterday and 12 months, I said, how, how do you think you've grown in 12 months? He said, massively. He says, I, you know, I would just take any jobs before I got with Smith and Sons. And now I'm the minimum size job I want is 150 grand. It's just like his, his understanding of his own capabilities and his development process, because he's a very good student in the business. Um, you know, he's, he's developing a business now that is on its way. And so it's pretty exciting. So the last thing here, number five, and it, this is really a, almost a byproduct, this number five, it's increased confidence and resilience. You know, I think that depending on your personality, uh, you may start with very little confidence. And that's definitely where the, the, a coach can help build your confidence up because um, it's the belief that I might have in you that you don't have in you that's going to make all the difference for you to get started. Think about that. It's the belief that I have in you that motivates you to go and do more than what you would do without my input, without my influence. 
And that that's something that that could that could change your world because you're like, okay, so there's a there's a bit of an element where there's trust, and it's like, okay, so I'm gonna do everything Max says, and I'm going to believe everything he says, and I'm gonna be a good student, I'm gonna be accountable, and I'm gonna go to the gym all the time, and I'm gonna work this business. And it, and then over time, what happens is your confidence, it grows because you start to get it. You have that aha moment. You're like, okay, I feel good. This this association between me and my business coach, it feels good. It's it's adding value. You know, in life, we're either, we're either attractive or we're repellent, you know? And so some people's attitudes and their demeanors is very repellent. It's like, ooh, I don't want to be around that dude. Um, what we want to be is attractive personalities. So that goes across the board. As a boss, it goes as a, as a salesperson, when you're talking to new clients with your subcontractors and your vendors, you want to be a likable kind of person. Don't want to be pushed around. But it's that it's that confidence that you exude that really does help build your business reputation in the area that you are. Now, if you're someone like me that might have already had some confidence, the the way that I look at it when I get my coaching. Um, it's it's because I want I want confirmation that I'm on the right track. Like you know, I'm like I'm like a Rottweiler. It's kind of like I I just want to know that I'm eating this up properly, and and it just spurs me on to do more. And so you know, that's the power of coaching for me. Uh, it gives me increased confidence, and that gets me started. And then over time, because you're you're running, you've got a running mate or you've got a sparring partner, i.e., your coach, um, that really will help you become resilient. Resilience is not something that you just, you know, get on the on the on the phone and order. It's something that happens over a matter of time. And you only really know whether or not you're resilient when something catastrophic happens in your business. And I've been there and, and it's it's not fun. But I'm telling you, you when you look at yourself in the mirror and you go, if it is to be, it is up to me. Everything that I do today is helping me incrementally move forward and helping me to achieve my dreams and goals. But it just seems like the process is so darn slow. And so, you know, the resilience component, you know, is certainly something that's built into you over time. And look, just, you know, I, I guess my my closing note might be that we've really got to come up with the reasons why. You know, for me, there's there's, you know, I've got a whole bunch of things. I've got I've got very selfish reasons why I want to build business, and I've got some very, um, you know, some very, uh, I guess, sort of personal things that mean a lot to me that I want to give to my family. And, uh, you know, make sure that legacy, that's a big one for me as well. I was only talking to my daughter yesterday and I'm saying my kids, kids and their kids can actually go and see, you know, old grandpa Peterson banging on about business and contracting. And I just think that'd be awesome. And so, you know, those are the, you've got to figure out what it is. You got to really determine what your why is. And I mean, Simon Sinek wrote a book and I got the audio book and the hard copy. Um, and it's it's really important to to really, you know, figure out, um, why it is that you do what you do. And and so, you know, you're going to have some corporate type goals, you know, where in the business we want, we're setting high standards in construction services. That's essentially what we want to do. Uh, we want to give clients peace of mind and security and satisfaction. And, and, and so that's what you might have as your, you know, business mission and, and purpose. And, but personally, you want to be able to have something too that really does get your fires burning, um, that pumps. So when you wake up in the, in, you know, the next morning, it's like, I am doing this for a purpose. I'm not just doing this for money because I know you think that might be the go, but just waking up and doing it for the dough is never going to sustain you for the long term. And it certainly won't give you the motivation when the shit hits the fan because it's just an inert thing. It will. There's too many rich folks out there who are pissed with their life and depressed and not happy. And I'm saying something's got to be up with that. So, um, Enhance clarity and vision, point number one. Point number two, expert guidance and experience. That's the second thing you should expect from your business coach. Point number three, personalized support and accountability. Point number four, skill development and growth. Point number five, increase confidence and resilience. If you want to come and have a chat with me, I'm more than welcome to uh, to chat with you on Zoom uh, real quick. We'll probably do a 30-minute session and just chat a bit about your business and how uh, you know what the challenges you're facing are and how I might be able to help you. Um, and I really look forward to a lot of those, you know, meetings in the next couple of weeks as we move forward. But uh, be sure, if you just want to, I understand, it's a little, you know, if this is the first time you've seen me or heard me, I appreciate you hanging with me this long, and, uh, you know, but I would love to just jam around certain things, and like I said, I'm not going to be able to take on tons and tons of, of clients, that's what I'm going to call you guys and girls, anybody that wants to work with me. Um, but you know, we will, I will have conversations with, with as many people as I can, abs I, I can, absolutely. 
So uh, hit me up an email, max at businessforbuilders.ca. Uh, leave, a, leave a comment below if you've got something to say about this episode and I'll, uh, I'll hit you back and also shoot across to uh, Business for Builders VIP uh, on Facebook and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try and, you know, I'll probably start dropping some stuff in there actually about the whole coaching world. So I uh, really appreciate all the guys and girls that are currently with Business for Builders VIP. It's awesome to have, have you guys in that little community uh, you know, where, where there's a little peer group that's starting to build. Um, and I'm just going to add some more value, you know, on top of this. But we really do have to nail down some really micro detail in your business because um, the macro stuff that I've been doing for the last two years is good, but it's not a good enough plan. It's like having a, a, a set of drawings or blueprints that are just a draft. We can never go to construction with the concepts, okay? I think you guys and girls have been listening to me. If you've been listening to me for any amount of time, you understand what the concept is, the concept drawings, but we can never go to construction with those concept drawings. Now we need to invest in the full architecturals to build your business. So I'd encourage you to get across, hit me up on email, max at businessforbuilders.ca and have a chat with me. Uh, have a chat with me about that. Uh, really love having you uh, with me and uh, putting up with me and uh, go build a kick-ass business. Hit me up on email. Uh, look forward to chatting with you folks real soon. See you in the next episode. Cheers. Cheers.